It's rare to see two devices from different brands look identical and almost share everything. I'm talking about the Redmi 14C and the Techno Spark 30C. They have a similar design with the circular camera cutout. They have the same processor, which is the MediaTek Helio G81. And you also get a 50 megapixel primary camera on both phones. These phones share a lot and they are separated by fine margins. In this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know what differentiates the Redmi 14C versus the Techno Spark 30C. Straight off the bat, I'm going to say both brands are generous with the content they give you in the box. Now, you're going to get a TPU case in the box of both phones, a 33 watts charging brick in the box of the Redmi 14C, and an 18 watts charging brick in the box of the Techno Spark 30C. The 14C supports only 18 watt fast charging, regardless of the text tree was charger in the box you get a usb a to c cable in the box of both phones but there is an earpiece in the box of the spark 30c and it's missing in the box of the redmi 14c you also get some paperwork in the box of the redmi 14c that is not available in the box of the techno spark 30c that's just about it regarding the box content now both phones are under 100 dollars and i paid 132,000 naira for the redmi 13c and 135,000 Naira for the Techno Spark 30C. The price is almost the same and it's a very aggressive price point. There are a lot of options from different brands, iTel, Samsung and Infinix around this price category. So you have a lot of choices. I'm also going to leave links in the description of this video for some of the devices that might be competing directly with the phones I'm talking about. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel while you are down there. Now for the design and build quality, at a glance, they look the same. With a round camera cutout, the cutout of the Redmi 14C is slightly bigger than that of the Techno Spark 30C. They both have two cameras, a 50 megapixel primary camera like I stated earlier and there is a second auxiliary lens with a flashlight. The Techno Spark 30C has an IR blaster which is missing on the Redmi 14C and Redmi phones are the ones that normally come with IR blaster but nowadays Techno is including them on a lot of their phone. My variant of the Redmi 14C is sage green which has a leather finish and the variant that I have of the Techno Spark 30C is the Orbit Black. The Spark 30C has a leather variant but I think it's not available in this region. It is more of a matte plastic finish here and I would also like to know in the comments what do you prefer, leather or matte plastic finish. Personally, I will lean towards the leather finish for this price category. This one is definitely going to hide smudges and stains better and you can easily clean this off. The Spark 30C has dual speakers, two speakers, one at the top and a second one at the bottom, while the 14C only has a single down firing speaker. In terms of sound quality, the Techno Spark 30C definitely sounds a bit better than the Redmi 14C. You also get a headphone port on both phones and they share the same USB-C charging port. Both phones have a side mounted fingerprint scanner and I can't say which one is faster than the other. They are mostly the same in terms of how fast they unlock the phone. They support dual 4G SIM cards with slots for memory expansion. The Spark 30C has a punch hole cutout that looks more appealing and modern while we have the dated water drop notch on the Redmi 14C. In terms of design, I'm going to say the Spark 30C feels better, not looks better because it's more modern due to the cutout at the front and it's also a bit more comfortable to hold in the hand because it's smaller. It also has an IP54 water splash and dust resistant rating which is lacking on the Redmi 14C. Regarding the display, we have a 6.67 inch display on the Techno Spark 30C while we have a 6.88 inch display on the Redmi 14C. They are both IPS LCD panels with 720p resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. The Redmi 14C has a bigger display and there are people that will prefer that, prefer a bigger display. But in terms of the general display quality, I'm going to say it's a tie. Colors look similar as well as contrast and sharpness. There is hardly anything that can separate these displays. They are responsive to touch and the refresh rate at best 
is 90 hertz i'm going to say that the 120 hertz refresh rate both redmi and techno are claiming is available on this phone is more of a gimmick most of the time during my testing what i could get was 90 hertz refresh rate and one thing i would have appreciated is more is a 1080p resolution and 90 hertz refresh rate on both display but what we have here is 720p and 120 hertz the bezels are noticeable on both phones but they are thicker on the redmi 14c because of the water drop notch it has the notch is a deal breaker for me but i feel for a lot of you out there that are watching this video it's not going to be a deal breaker because the redmi 13c that came before this had the same notch and it sold out massively but let us know in the comment section the water drop notch or the punch hole cutout which one do you prefer let us know in the comment section i feel for the display it's a tie and the only deal breaker for me what will make me pick the spectacular c over the redmi 14c is the cutout now both phones are packed with a lot of software features as they are running both on android 14 we have hyper os on the redmi 14c while the spark 30c is the hios and i have to give kudos to techno for how far they've come with iOS and how they've refined it both softwares are quite fluid and responsive to touch but i'll say they are more bloatware that means pre-installed apps when you buy the phone you have more on the redmi 14c as against the techno spark 30c multitasking is impressive both phones can hold a couple of apps running in the background but you get split screen and floating windows on the spark 30c and you don't have that on the redmi 14c i don't know why it's missing but it's a feature i know a lot of redmi users normally ask for but it's missing on the redmi 14c this year you can create multiple user accounts on the redmi 14c which is impressive and be useful in different scenarios maybe if you want to give your phone to someone you can just switch to another account if you are trying to hide some things you don't get that feature on the spark 30c the spark 30c has an impressive landscape charging animation that i like but is not available on the redmi 14c the notification shade on both phones is different a single swipe on the redmi 14c gives you access to everything both the menu and the notification while if you swipe to the top left on the techno spark 30c you get access to the notification and if you swipe to the right you are going to get access to the quick menu when it comes to customization i feel you can customize the redmi 14c more than you can customize the redmi techno spark 30c you have a lot of control over the interface and you can quickly change the font change a lot of things on the interface of the spark on the redmi 14c and i feel the hios is not up to that level in terms of customization app icons look kind of similar and i think software is a close call and a lot of users will be fine with hyper os and how it performs on the 14c as against the hios what about performance we have the mediatek helio g81 processor on both phones it is a slight update from the popular helio g80 that was used on a lot of budget phones performance is a tie and i'll say they both handle basic tasks decently you can play call of duty mobile or PUBG on both phones and it's going to run smoothly on minimal settings apps open up almost at the same time and there isn't anything to consider maybe in terms of performance i feel this is very close and if performance is what is going to make you buy any of this one then you'll be fine with how they perform both phones have a 50 megapixel primary camera and the selfie on the techno spark 30c is 8 megapixel while we have a 30 megapixel selfie camera on the redmi 14c i'll say in terms of pictures I prefer what the colors and details of the redmi but this category of phones are not generally known to have very very good camera just decent at best and you really need to snap in well lit conditions to even get good pictures you can shoot 2k videos with the front and back camera of the spark 30c while you can only shoot 1080p at 30 fps with the redmi 14c here are more images side by side let me know which one you think looks better in the comment section We have a 5000 mAh battery on the Spark 30C and the battery of the Redmi 14C is 5160 mAh making it slightly higher than the Techno device. They both have 18 watts charging speed and charging these phones 
takes up over two hours slightly over two hours from zero to 100 battery life is quite close but this category belongs to the redmi 14c because it's giving you slightly more juice than the techno spark 30c and if this video hits 1000 likes i'm definitely going to give you guys a battery train test of both devices choosing between these two phones might come down to personal preference or maybe you are inclined to a particular brand over the other maybe you prefer redmi phones over techno phones or maybe you want a techno phone over a redmi phone they are more of the same with little to no differences what else would you like to know about the phones maybe something i didn't talk about in this video let me know in the comment section and i'm going to see you in my next video kindly subscribe also if you made it to the end thank you